I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Man, it's been a long time. Delighted as always to be joined by Mr. Lee Eaton. Lee, like I said, it's been a long time, man. What's been happening? It's been a very long time, um, Andy. Everything's good. Uh, life's good. It's been a bit of a hectic few months. Um, bit, 2022 has been a bit madness, but listen, it's, it is what it is. Um, we keep moving forward and, um, yeah, it's just been busy sorting things out, getting fighters in positions and yeah just a lot lots happening let's go management that's what's been happening and uh, if anyone follows you on instagram they'll see that you have you're true to your word and what you just said there that you have been busy because i follow you all over the on instagram and you've been these york hall shows have been amazing that i've seen uh you put shows up in, uh, on in essex you've got fighters here there you've got fighters fighting on in belfast so it has been a very very busy busy time for you have you enjoyed it yeah, so no. Still enjoy it. Yeah, of course. Listen, sometimes you sit there and say, oh, "I hate boxing and that," but listen, it's boxing's the true love, isn't it? Um, but yeah, no. Listen, it's been very, very busy. Um, it's been, it's been good. Uh, obviously, there's, there's been a few hard times and stuff like that. But listen, you just got to keep going. Uh, do the best job I can for the fighters that I look after. Obviously, there's a few fighters that have left since. Obviously. April and stuff like that, but uh, a lot of them have stayed loyal and know that I do a good job for them. So um, there's lots of opportunities been coming up uh, for the fighters. So yeah, it's been an exciting time. Um, could end end the year with possibly three or four British champions. Um, so hopefully, an announcements over the next few days for a few things. Uh, obviously, already got Gavin Gwynn, British champion. Dion Juma's fighting for the British title. Just waiting to confirm a date for Jay Harris. There's been a bit of a mess around, but hopefully that gets sorted. Alex Del Magani could fight for the British title also. Um, and then in the new year, obviously, Sean McGoldrick could be fighting for the uh, British title as well. So um, it's, a, it's a busy few months. I've got Joe Ham fighting for the Commonwealth title. Harley Benz fighting on Sunday. I've got Thomas Somba fighting for the British title eliminator tonight. Um, um, yeah, it's just here, there and everywhere and um, enjoying life. Well, we are in Sheffield. You, the, the reason why we're here is because you've got Thomas the Somba, but we'll talk about this card in Sonny Edwards because Sonny Edwards never in a... Well, fight week's never dull with no. Sonny Edwards, but we'll, we'll, we'll come on to that. But you mentioned Harley Ben there. He's out in Dubai yep. against... Uh, you fine, can Faze in Anwar, that's it. You Thanks for reminding me there, Lee. Uh, yeah, I've, I've seen Faison quite a lot when I've been out in Dubai. He's been on a lot of car, uh, cards out there. Um, he's unbeaten. Do uh, you think Harley's going to do a number on this guy? you think that Harley's he's improved over the last few months? Uh, so how do you see that fight going? Yeah, listen, Faison and Anwar's got, got to 14-0. So listen, he's a very good fighter. And if you look at Harley Ben's previous, listen, you, you think you favour Faison massively. But the, the improvement that I've seen in Harley since he's gone over to Will Jones, he's having a proper camp, proper sparring, um, living the actual life of being a boxer, he's um, improved massively. He's right up for it. Um, and I'm excited. For it. it's, to fight any fighter, to be able to fight on a Floyd Mayweather undercard, even though it's an exhibition fight, it doesn't matter. To be around Floyd, be at the press conference, be at the weigh-ins and stuff like that, it's what dreams are made of for these fighters. And I'm pleased to get the opportunity for Harley. If he goes and beats his kid, then we've been promised big fights next year on the, on undercards with other big fighters. So um, it's all down to Harley now. Well, I've done my bit. Now it's him to go do his bit, which I'm confident he can. Uh, can he stop somebody like Amar? Because, like I said, he's unbeaten. He's based out in Dubai, so it's an away fight for Harley. Um, away fight for Harley. So can he go in there and put in a big statement? Maybe if Floyd's watching the changing room in front of Floyd Mayweather. Well, listen, anything's possible in this game. Listen, hopefully Harley goes and uh, brings on a career best performance. He's going to need it because mm. obviously, no, no disrespect to Harley, but his career so far has not been great. So <laughs> that's been not being harsh, just being truthful. So hopefully he goes on, uh, he, he goes in there and does the job. And listen, I'd love him to do it. It'd be a great, obviously, a great fight, uh, win for him. And um, obviously the promise of bigger fights on bigger shows is, 
um, what he wants. So you manage Thomas Asomba. Um, I've seen him kitted out in the Let's Go management gear. We will you come on. We will come on to that as well. Listen, no, trust me. I've got a list of questions I want to ask you. We will come on to that. Um, he we had his Let's Go management jacket on the big long one. Uh, it's nice and cosy this time of year, especially for somebody that lives in Scotland. It'll work a treat for him. Not saying any much on that. I'm just letting that. I'm just putting that out there. You do with that information what you. No worries. He's been putting in my mind. You can have my one. It's in the boot of my car. All right. <laughs> yeah, See, that's why you. If you don't actually don't get. Yeah, Thomas Son. But just talking about. Well, you went there at the press conference. You you, you arrived yesterday, but Marcel Braithwaite no show at the press conference, and then missing weight yesterday by 0 0.7. Um, yeah, just talk to me about Thomas Asomba's mindset and Marcel Braithwaite over this past week. Listen, Thomas Asomba has always been an away fighter, yeah? So when me and Sonny spoke, me and Sonny co-manage him, so we both look after him. He's Sonny's chief sparring partner. He's in the gym. He's had a, the first time in his life he's had a full eight, like full camp, full well, world-class sparring and everything like that. Thomas Asomba is the home fighter, and he is going to take this with both hands. He sold a load of tickets, which he's never done before. Mm -hmm. He's got all Sonny's fans supporting him, all Levi Kinsonia's fans supporting him, all Nikolai Campbell's fans. Listen, Everybody is rooting for Thomas Asomba. Marcel Braithwaite didn't turn up to the um, press conference, probably because he was struggling with weight, if I'm honest. Uh, which is, if that's it, is what it is. But then to very unprofessional, 0.7, and didn't want to get it off, which to me is very unprofessional. But listen, it is what it is. Uh, Thomas Asomba, uh, we, we put stipulations in place and stuff like that, but some, Thomas went, nope. Just let it go. I want to fight. I'm going to beat him. So it's all about Thomas Asomba tonight. Um, obviously, he's a massive opportunity for him. And then if he wins, then we're, we're, we're mandatory for the British title. So Casey Kondemi versus Ajaz Ahmed. Fingers crossed it ain't a draw again, for fuck's sake. Um, and then, obviously, that fight can happen. That's what, And Thomas Asomba winning the British title is going to be one of the biggest achievements as, a, obviously, a management, as a manager possible, bringing him from, obviously, a way corner to doing what he's doing. Doing. So, um, yeah, it's all about Thomas and that. Sonny Edwards, you mentioned he co manages Thomas, but Sonny Edwards, he's got a tough fight in his own right. And I, you always love a, a Sonny Edwards fight because he's going to bring some sort of well, chaos, might be mayhem, might be the wrong word, but he brings something to a fight week. It's just Sonny Edwards, Sonny Edwards being Sonny Edwards, but he's up against Felix Alvarado, who's had 38 wins, 33 KOs, but <sighs> Sonny's been in there with big hitters and he can't seem to pin them down or get a hold of them. So, I said to Sonny, the safe bet for me, looking at your last few fights, is if I go to the bookies, I'm just going to put Sonny Edwards' unanimous decision. He went, that's a safe bet. Yeah, listen, Sonny, Sonny's son is um, a, a character. Um, I have weekly chats with him on the phone, and he, and he just chats, chats, chats. It's like literally hour calls. You can't get him off the phone. Uh, he's a great character. Um, he's He lives and breathes the sport of boxing. Um, the way he... It, like reads boxing the way he pins things down just everything he just, he just loves boxing so um and he's an unbelievable fighter so um i can't see anybody beating sonny edwards at flyweight the only person that beats him is sonny edwards if he doesn't prepare properly but listen you see the shape he's in um this this card's all like a, a sheffield card in in his adopted home city so it's, it's the sonny edwards show um so it's 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 all down to him tonight, so I'm really looking forward to seeing him put a performance on. Lee, even though you sometimes give me a, not give me a hard time, but we have back and forths and banter and stuff like that, it's good to see you doing very well, mate, with this yeah. new company of your Let's Go Management, and uh, you're never off that phone, so I see how hard you work for, for your fighters, So, and I've seen that you've got... I'm not going to make... Uh, Boxer Social YouTube channel, I'll mention them, who cares? Uh, they're, they're streaming your shows as well, which is which is good to see for you and, 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 and your fighters. So, 2023, big plans ahead? Yeah, listen, obviously, we, I've had a great relationship with IFL over the years, and I class Coogan, yourself, and the other boys as brothers, you know what I mean? We're, but, listen, um, it's a business at the end of the day, so, obviously, I've been doing bits with Into Boxing, uh, which uh, with our uh, um, Boxing Social and stuff. So, 2023, I've, um, I've agreed... Um, a broadcast deal for, for next year so there's a few things going to be happening I think early December there'll be a, an announcement um, but yeah I'm going to be um, very very busy next year which is going to benefit all my fighters um, also other fighters in in the areas because we're going to need to fill six, 16 shows um, so 
I wasn't meant to say that, but it is what it is. I can cut that if you want. Nah, don't worry about it. It's obviously 16 shows next year, so I'm going to be very, very busy. Um, obviously, the broadcaster and the sponsorship and all that will be announced in the next, um, probably, I think it's early December, 6th of December, something like that. So once all that's announced and stuff like that, it's all systems go. Obviously, I've got a meeting today to set out all, all 16 dates, and then that will be announced Every day it'll be announced on the on the uh, on the press conference, and it'll be all systems go. So I'm looking forward to um, doing sh the small hall shows. Listen, but obviously upper small hall shows. We, me myself with a budget, as the, like, I've proved in the past with my, with the shows that I've done about 50-50 fights, um, and that's what I want to do. Mm -hmm. I want to put on the best small hall shows in the business. Obviously, give, I've never ever, obviously I've had a budget before. Obviously these last few months I've had no budget. The uh, Next year I'll have a budget and uh, I'll prove that I can put good shows on um, and the fans are gonna be in for a treat, the fighters are gonna be in for a treat and I'm just really excited to get going um, and get back to doing what I used to do best. You probably can't say anything, but will we see you in Scotland? We will be. Music to my ears now. I'm coldly. Can I come grab that jacket from your boot? You can have the <laughs> jacket from the boot, all right? Listen, it's been an absolute pleasure. Always a pleasure to speak to you. And glad to see you doing well, mate. And uh, let's enjoy the fights tonight. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers, Lee. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.